So it is not surprising that some would have us stay where we are a little longer, to rest, to wait, and that all great and honorable actions are accompanied with great difficulties. And both must be enterprised and overcome with answerable courage. If this capital history of our progress teaches us anything, it is that man in his quest for knowledge and progress is determined and cannot be deterred. A new story straight out of South Africa. A YouTuber by the name of Sipo Chacha is on the rise. I'm here with the great, the mighty, the one and only Sipo Chacha. Hey guys, welcome to another video. My test setup is finally finished, guys. That's you don't know how happy I am to say that. The past two weeks I've been machining straight every day to get that test setup finished. Um, a big shout out and thanks to David, David Rosman, Hannes, Pretorius, Renier, um, all of these guys that were helping me. Beard, Edwin, Takani, Shlai, you know, um, Tando, people like that. You know, you can't do stuff like this alone. You can't. So, from going from me making a CAD design to actually making it a reality was incredibly tough and it takes a lot like a lot of thinking a lot of calculations like something as simple as the shaft I mean you think it's just the shaft but I was doing deflection calculations so I didn't want it to deflect more than a millimeter because that could affect my results um, so I also had to choose the diameter of the shaft that would be necessary necessary so I calculated the stresses in that shaft according to the material and then from that I computed the safety factor and from that I was able to determine what size shaft I needed so that the shaft doesn't break underneath the loads the tubing itself you know I had to add support members because those tubes they're good in tension and compression but they're terrible in bending so you have to add those supporting members so there was just so much that went into this test setup, you know, the circlips which stop the pivoting tubes from moving left and right, you know, that was a whole other thing. Oh, guys, it was a lot of thinking, a lot of thinking, but now the setup is up and this is just going to be me showing you me creating that setup. I made a lot of videos of me working on it, but here is me finishing up the setup and Hope you guys enjoy the video and just get a taste of what it's like to take something from a concept to reality, which is what it is to be an engineer. That's what we do.
can see I've welded some there's some stuff here that I've been welding so it's coming together quite well but see I'm the last one literally the only one in the workshop everyone else has gone home but me and there was even one weld where um, my friend Justin smacked it with the hammer it came right off so I need to re-weld that so there's a lot of welding that I still need to do and I don't, I'm still learning how to weld, but I'm doing, I'm welding my test setup as I'm learning, I'm learning on my test setup, which is crazy. Um, it's tough. This is one of the days when I would say, I feel like giving up and it's one of those days, yeah. Um, one of those days when I wish I was anyone else but myself, but I mean, I think that happens to all of us sometimes, so I'm really tired, really exhausted, really over it. Um, yeah, I just want to finish. Um, um, yeah, I've been through a lot. But anyway, yeah, now at least I get to go home. I'm going to study for test week. It's my dad's birthday. So they're going to Olives and Plates. Um, it's a nice restaurant. I think it's in Sandton. Um, but I can't go because I'm studying for test week. So I think all in all, that's why I just feel very demotivated today, to be honest. There's just a lot of factors going into that. But yeah, I need to study for test week. I start my test week on Monday. Hence, I couldn't go to the restaurant with my family. But I mean, hey. Hopefully these sacrifices will mean something one day and yeah Okay guys, I'm still welding So I'm MIG welding. See there's the MIG machine And so here we have stick welding. So here's the stick machine Tick. So here's the tick machine and MIG So I'm doing MIG welding and a good tip for welding that most people don't realize is see clean your surface before you weld it makes your welds like a hundred times better so like even the area i'm gonna weld the shaft that i manufactured see clean the surface okay so here's my crash out of the day i realized that this shaft probably needs to have sir clips on but as you can see i've already welded it on so now I have to cut the shaft off, angle grind it, machine it, and then re-weld it. Oh, man. This life, guys. But yeah, again, you see I'm alone in the workshop. So these days I'm alone quite a bit. But yeah, so I'm gonna get working now.
so I just finished building my tier set up. Campus is empty guys, it's at night. Even I'm sorry if the video quality is bad when it's dark, but as you can see, campus is empty guys, I'm the only one. Everyone's at home. But I'm still here because of my test setup. So at least my test setup is done. I'm testing tomorrow. It's taken a lot to get to this point. If you've been watching my other videos of me machining, welding, you'll know that yo, it's taken at least three weeks for me to get to this point. But I'm here, so I'm happy. And now I'm gonna get some KFC, go home and study. Yeah. Well, here's my setup. And it's finished. So we have the 28 teeth pulley here, we have the leg. And then we have two load tiles, 500 kg load tiles. This one measures the tension in the tight side of the belt, it's connected to the roller. And then this one, um, this pivoting tube is connected to the bottom load tile. And that measures the tension in the bottom belt. And as you can see, these load tiles, they're 500 kg. I don't think you can see, but very strong load tiles. And basically, um, this is the flywheel, and you use it to apply a braking torque. So, when you press the flywheel, it applies torque, and then it's going to vary the tension in your belt. And then these load tiles will pick up the belt tension as you vary torque. So that's my test setup. And then this center drill just keeps this pulley in place because the shaft can move up and down. And then here, we have strain gauges, as you can see. So yeah, there's the strain gauges. There's some strain gauges over here. Strain gauges over here. And these strain gauges just measure torque. So there's a torque telemetry system. And yeah. And then these, these are pivoting tubes based on the fulcrum princi principle. So basically, I know my distances are equal. So whatever force is coming out of the belt, it's going to be equal to the force picked up by the load cell. Because I made these distances equal. And then you have some circlips here. And these circlips just stop this pivoting tube from moving left and right. And then... You have this shaft right here and this shaft basically it's diameter 20 millimeters and I just calculated that that's the minimum diameter you need for the shaft not to break under the loads. And then yeah, you have your lathe, you can vary its RPM here. But I'm gonna run it on low RPM since the structure we don't want it to break. So it shouldn't break but just to be safe. And yeah, that is my test setup.